Hello, so I'm going to address a topic today that many people have asked me about, and that is the media creation tool. The media creation tool is a tool made by Microsoft. So you can basically just go right here, um, search for media creation tool, and you're going to see download, you know, create media. Uh, you can do whatever you like. So we're just going to go to the actual create media, create the media creation tool on um, Microsoft's website. And we're hoping that their website actually loads. Great. So there's a couple different choices here. You have the update now or you just download the tool now. So we're going to download the tool. This tool only takes a few seconds to download and it's done. So it's going to ask, it clears your screen for a second, and it's going to ask um, getting a few things ready, and it's going to install a little tool. What this tool does is it creates a bootable thumb drive so that you can load Windows 10 on any computer that you like. So we're going to hit accept. So once you get to this screen, you have two choices. Upgrade this PC now or create the media USB flash drive. If you choose upgrade this PC now, it'll just download the newest version of Windows and allow you to easily update it. We do not want to do that. We are going to create the installation media and we're gonna hit next. Of course, it's gonna ask you a few questions. Um, we just choose all the defaults on this. We're going to use a USB flash drive. Now, if you want, um, you can also save the ISO file. If you save the ISO file, you can easily create flash drives over and over and over again. If you use the USB flash drive tool that they have, it only lets you do it one time and then it deletes the ISO file it made. So I'm going to select ISO file. We're going to hit next. We're going to pick somewhere to save that file, and I'm going to hit save. Now, as you can tell over here, it's going to take a while. My internet's not as fast as I would like it to be, but 82 megabits a second is going to get there pretty quickly. So let me talk to you about flash drives. So if you're going to be loading this over and over and over again, Spend the money to buy a good quality flash drive. If you look at this flash drive, there's a couple things about it. First off, you only need an 8 gig flash drive to do this process, but I have a 32 gig flash drive. Why is that? Because I use a whole bunch of software and tools, um, including a driver pack that has pretty much every driver you need. So I could put all of that on a 32 gig stick and if anything, if if anything like doesn't have a driver, I have the driver right there. If it if I need to load Windows Chrome or do some diagnostic work, it's all on a thumb drive. Now you'll also see a couple other things. I picked one of the fastest thumb drives you can get. This is a Win, um, USB 3.1, which is the newer, faster standard. And by, if you plug this into the blue port on any computer and you're loading it to an SSD, by doing this versus you know, USB 2.0, you're gonna load that computer in about half the normal amount of time. So that's a big deal. So I'm going to cut this open. Ah, scissors don't reach. There you go. And there's another little thing about thumb drives that I learned a long time ago. Is, you know, I want to have this thumb drive wherever I go. So I want to put it on my keychain. But I've gone through a ton of flash drives where the little part that holds onto your keychain breaks off. And all of a sudden your flash drive is gone. So I always now use metal ones. This one is really, really nice, made by Samsung, and the end right there is made out of metal. So you're gonna be able to put that on your thumb, on your key ring, and for the next year or two, um, it'll work. So now that we're downloading this, we're gonna get ready to be able to burn the ISO file to the thumb drive. 
Now we're going to use a tool, a tool called Rufus. And Rufus is a really good tool. Um, we're just going to download it right here um, from SourceForge. And we're just going to click download. Obviously you just search for Rufus in Google. Your download will start shortly. And we're going to keep the file. And So it downloads an executable. It's very, very easy and simple to use. I have now inserted the thumb drive into the USB 3.0 port or 3.1 port on my computer. And we are simply waiting for the download to finish. So what we're going to do is we're going to select Samsung USB G 32 gigabyte. That's the name of the thing. Now over here you have a couple different choices. You can go non-bootable, disk iOS, all that type of stuff. So we're going to do disk or ISO image. Over here, you can do select or download. So we're going to select it. Now, we can't choose any of the other options until this, um, until we show it which file we're going to be accessing and using. So we're going to give it a few more seconds. <clears throat> now, how Microsoft does its naming scheme is they release a different version of Windows about every six months. And the current version that we're on is um, 1909 so basically the September version from 2019 okay so now it's done downloading it's created it in a folder called uh, I might put it on my public folder d colon slash public slash windows dot iso I'm gonna rename it to give it a little bit more version information now I already had a copy downloaded to this folder let me show it to you right there um, already had a copy of Windows 10 1909 downloaded, but this new one is actually slightly larger. And the reason it is slightly larger is because as they put, as they create updates for Windows, they actually update this ISO file about once a week. So by me downloading it now versus the one that I downloaded back in November, this is going to be a more current and more efficient version. I'm going to select the ISO file so that I can burn it. So we hit the select button, and of course we remember it's in the D public, and we're going to pick the one I just downloaded using today's date right there. Now, let me show you this right here. We have a couple different choices. We have GPT or MBR. We're just going to pick GPT. Now we also have a couple different choices, target system, um, UEFI, standard Windows installation or Windows to go. So we're going to do standard Windows installation. Now, the most important part of this is you have your choice of FAT32 or NTFS. Now, believe it or not, for some reason it actually makes a big difference. There are certain laptops and certain computers that if you select FAT32, it will not work. There are also certain other ones that if you select NTFS, it will not work. So for the most part, I usually burn two of these, one for FAT32 and one for NTFS. Today we're going to burn NTFS. You can also select the, the um, kilobytes per sector. I just leave it at the default. Now we're going to hit start. And of course it's going to pop up a warning that we're going to be deleting all of the data. Um, we don't really care. That's kind of the plan. So there it goes. It's already formatted the thumb drive and we're going to be copying over about five gigs of data to that particular thumb drive. Now I want to tell you a little bit about licensing. Now in the past you had to pay for media from Microsoft in order to download Windows. But now most of the big companies they already paid for that Windows license for life on that computer. So if you have a computer that is sitting around 
that has a Windows license on it. Now, Windows licenses come in two formats, a paper license, like a, an, an, a little certificate with that 25-digit number on it. Um, it also comes in, wow, look how fast it's copying. It also comes in a different format where it actually is saved into the BIOS. So like on most laptops, if it's saved into the BIOS and you boot on this thumb drive, it's going to not even ask you which type of Windows you want to install. It's going to install the one that you have the license for. It's not gonna ask you to type in a key. It's not gonna do any of that. It's just simply going to install the one you have the license for and it will work and it will be registered and that's awesome. So if you let me hit finish on this little box, so if you want to install it on multiple computers, go for it. You don't need to be going out and whatever you do, don't go to like eBay or any of these other f websites and buy a five or ten dollar key. Those are not legitimate whatsoever. Um, it may work, but those aren't what you wanted to use. If you don't have that BIOS setting, you could take a Windows 7 product key and type it in as those 25 digits. And it, as long as you select Pro when you're using a Pro key or Home when you're using a Home key, that key should work. It works over 90% of the time for us. So we're going to let this ISO file finish copying and we're almost done. Once this is done, I go through, I copy in some nice screensavers, some backgrounds. I copy in my driver tools, my tech tools, um, quite a lot of files onto the 32 gig thumb drive. By the end of my process, I'm usually right at about 30 gigs. And that's pretty good. I take that thumb drive, put it on my keychain, and for the next you know, six months, I'll use it. At the end of six months, I'll download the newest version from Microsoft's website, and I'll repeat the process. Most of my thumb drives last a few years, so here we go. You have just created media, blah, blah, blah. You must disable secure boot. So if you ever do notice that, you do need to disable secure boot because secure boot only allows you to boot on the actual hard drive of the device. So we're going to hit close, and close. So our ISO file is done. Let's open it up. So here is the the regular EFI partition and here is the actual partition that you want to use. So on here I can make a folder called tools and that's where I'm going to put my um, the stuff that I'm going to be using. A folder called applications. So I'm going to be copying my data over to that here and we'll be really well off. Thanks for watching and have a great day. If you like this video, I'm going to be producing a few more like it. Um, my next one, I'm going to actually be taking this drive and showing you how from step by step we're going to be putting um, an SSD into a used laptop and refurbishing that laptop and going through all my steps of loading Windows and then loading all the software that I put on that computer. That will be a video coming up very soon. Thanks and have a great day.